One thing we can see in our own experience is like throughout our life, throughout our day, in each moment, there's countless unpredictable experiences going on. Like, we can try to describe them all, and I know through my life I did try to describe things moment by moment. But really it's indescribable and infinite and unpinned downable. Thoughts, emotions, sensations, sparks of light, feelings in the body, memories, everything all culminating in this moment, not knowing what's going to come up from one moment to the next. Data streams, as we call them in the balance view training, just to keep it totally simple. Unpredictable, countless data. <coughs> experiences, richness. And before I was introduced to the Met the Balance View training, my focus was only on my experiences, on my data streams, and trying to have the perfect arrangement. So from one moment to the next, some moments feeling like, got it, good data, okay, everything's all right, I'll relax, next moment bad data, bad desire, but not the one I want right now. So what can I do? I'm going to effort to try to change that, to put myself in a different circumstance, to um, try to satisfy this feeling in some way, because with desire we see very clearly it's coming up and it's so potent and strong and all-consuming. We're like, really, I've got to do something about this one. My well-being depends on it. And being introduced to the Balance View training, I learned we learn a new way that we can remain completely open to everything that's occurring. We can relax right there in the flow of our experience. We can rely on the openness of our intelligence. Moment by moment, short moment by short moment, simply relaxing as we are, letting the data stream as they do. Letting ourselves be completely natural in that flow. Seeing that everything can and does come up in life. We can experience everything. The whole spectrum of human emotion, sensation, thoughts, belief systems. And we just let them be as they are and we relax as open intelligence. And open intelligence we can identify right now if we just stop thinking for a moment what remains. Alert, bright intelligence remains, open like the sky. Welcoming everything, every single data stream welcomed, openly welcomed. And we can only experience our data streams through open intelligence, this power to know that's fundamental and comprehensive experiencing everything. So in the Balance You training we are invited and become acquainted with open intelligence which is simply openly perceiving everything rather than collapsing down and describing the data streams. We just remain totally open moment by moment and that the, the brilliant thing is that just means relaxing. So short moments of relaxing. What's simpler? just easily complicated was in my experience so easily complicated it's got to be more it's got to be more for me to find well-being this just to be as I am no way but just me as I am I definitely not I've got to do some fixing find those things to fix and get busy on myself and then we learn there's an effortless way to simply be as we are and it's such an exploration and adventure. Because what I've just seen is then everything's permitted to feel and experience. Everything. All the naughty things, bad things, things I thought weren't allowed in my experience. Seeing moment by moment I can just let it be as it is. Anger, jealousy, hatred, anxiety self-deprecation, everything, letting everything be as it is, seeing it's inseparable from open intelligence. Open intelligence is fundamental 
and commanding of data streams, the source of all data streams. So we rest in that recognition, short moment by short moment, relaxing as we are and discovering how incredible we are as human beings. Every single person. Every single person, a powerhouse of benefit. That's not what I learned about humanity. All seven billion of us, powerhouses of benefit. That's the starting point of the Balance You training. The rest is not theoretical, we go from there. We've experienced it in our direct experience, short moments of letting everything be as it is, short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until open intelligence is obvious. The first mainstay of the four mainstays, which is the support system of Balance View. The second mainstay is media and trainings. We train it up. We become acquainted in the same way if we were learning a language, we'd learn, we'd train it up. We'd spend the time to gain fluency. We gain fluency in our beneficial potency. All data streams, the shining forth, the dynamic energy of our intelligence. And purely beneficial. And then we have a trainer, somebody who's confident, confident not just in their own beneficial potency, and relying on open intelligence, but in ours and our capacity to recognize open intelligence, to live as beneficial potency. I know in my experience, my trainer knows me better than I do. And it's like, it's amazing. She, she will, I will write to her about something and the, the guidance and support I receive back just opens my view and it's like coming home. Even if sometimes it's sort of it feels totally new, but it's like, oh, I, didn't, I didn't see that, but now I see it and it totally makes sense and thank you so much. Enlivening beneficial potency in that relationship, somebody that only wishes to empower us, support us to be the best that we can be. And then the fourth mainstay is the community. When learning a language, we'd want immersion. We'd go and hang out with people who are also speaking that language. In Balance You, it's people living it, relying on open intelligence through their life and sharing the benefits of that, wordlessly and with words, in their actions, in their daily life. And how that looks for me is, um, is living a life where every single experience that comes up I now know is an opportunity to rely on open intelligence to rest as I am and get to know it as open intelligence as beneficial potency and I just I just used to feel so limited by my experience different things coming up and wanting to have a life that was very small and kept to a certain group of people certain activities that were good and fun and comfortable and not break out of that just due to data streams coming up of like, I can't do this, I'm not good enough. Who am I to, to speak up or who am I to take that role or just so many different things. And, and, and seeing just simply by using the support of the four mainstays and relying on open intelligence through my day, things just open up. Data streams arise and resolve moment by moment like a line drawn in air. We don't need to do anything about them. They self-release on their own, don't you see that? Like the thought we had a moment ago, where is it? The raging desire we had a moment ago, where is it? Even if it comes back. Still our commitment to rest in that flow, we just discover for ourselves the potency there, feeling it like rawly, completely in our own experience. Not needing a story to go along with it, direct meeting with that data stream as it is. And seeing in my own experience what happens when I just let the data be as it is, do nothing with it, what opens up is benefit. Great power to be of benefit. That's the only sole definition of every experience. And, um, and it's great to just let these things run, like, you know, to 
if we have this story going on about something, let it run out completely. And also at some point I saw for myself, how do I want to use my mind and my day? Like, how do I want to be spending my day lost in this story about something? Or do I just want to get on with what I want to get on with? At some point, it became, certain things became so clear, like, you know, just spending my days, yeah, fantasizing about something. And rather than just relying completely on open intelligence there, keep widening the focus to open intelligence rather than collapsing in on the story. Using the Four Mainstays powerfully to support us in that opening and beneficial potency. And in my experience, feeling love and then feeling love goes away and getting to know open intelligence that knows all of those data inseparably. That's the greatest kindness and the greatest love we can ever possibly experience that's present right now, right here, inseparable from everything. Whether we are in feeling like we're in love or that data has gone, but really finding the great love that's present all the time, not in just a intellectual sense, but the complete settledness as we are, open-heartedness as we are, not needing anything from anybody else. Total love relating, regardless of circumstances, settled completely in our power to be of benefit. And seeing that the data, unpredictable and countless, come and go throughout our lifetime, so what do we want to depend on? And that's not ruling out love and having a loving relationship, but really getting to know the source of that love, source of everything, open intelligence. So just training that up in our own way is just the greatest contribution to ourselves and everybody that we could ever make. And just resting and like, as desire comes up, I mean, it's such a great topic, resting there, just doing nothing with it, letting it rip through us, like it's so powerful, and seeing that what remains is the great desire for the benefit of all. Like in everything, in every, you know, like one seeing somebody and wanting to have them and like just, just resting right there and just seeing what we just want is total benefit, benefit relating, benefit for ourselves and others. I see for myself like all relationships, like through my life, like intimate relationships, feeling like desire for somebody and then following up on that and just not knowing what to do with all of this love. Like all I learned was I follow up with it on it and I get into an intimate relationship. That's the option basically if you feel lots of desire and love in our society at the moment. I mean what else? You're not taught that it's the immense power of the universe that's like limitless in its capacity to serve all. You learn, you, you, I, I learn, like, okay, desire comes up and then it's got to be focused in on one person. They've got to be the source of it. They've got to um, continue to provide it. I mean, it's just a total fantasy if we look in our own experience. Where is the love occurring? Where is that data occurring? Where is that great power occurring? It's in our own intelligence, our open intelligence. So just resting as it. We just become acquainted with it in a new way, an empowered way, an inexhaustible way. Forever present beneficial potency, all that's going on.